Hi there, welcome to another Facebook Live. I'm just gonna give everybody a minute here to log on for those of you who want to watch. Get my computer set up. So today I, it's okay. <laughs> so today I have actually a crafting retreat going on. So we've got some other people in the room. So you might hear the odd noise and some chatting and that's completely fine. You should be able to hear me just fine. Um, it's kind of awkward doing this with other people in the room when I'm used to being by myself. All right, one more thing here. Turn my sound off on my computer. Okay, I should be able to see your comments now. Okay, all right, so welcome. My name is Sherry Roth. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Sherry Park, Alberta. Hi, Barb. Um, and I am happy to be here today, back with you today after being sick last week, um, to share with you some cute projects done with the Tin Tile Embossing Folder, which is my favorite embossing folder from the holiday catalog and um, the country home suite of products. So, but we've got a few things to take care of before I go ahead and get started. And because I missed last week, we've got some draws to do for some previous videos or some past Facebook Lives. So the first one is going to be this for this prize here. So remember to be entered, hey Mary Liz, hey Dawn, um, to be entered into winning the prizes that, or the cards that I make today. All you need to do is just comment on this post or on the face the replay on YouTube or share the post and you get five entries and then next week I'll draw for a winner okay so this little pocket card envelope pocket card that we created on I think it was August 31st I've got everybody's name in here so I'm gonna draw for a winner and we've got Judy D so Judy, I'll pop this in the mail for you. And I always appreciate your comments and sharing the video, so thank you so much. All right, and then we've got last, not last week's, the weeks before, and that was this adorable mason jar. So this one here, the gift card holder, and then the card and the envelope. All right, so I'm gonna draw a winner for these. And Kathy P. So I will contact her and get her address and pop those in the mail for her. All right. Um, oh, I forgot something. Let me grab my holiday catalog here. Okay, so today we will be crafting with the Country Home Suite and like I said, the Tin Tile Embossing Folder. Uh, I just want to show you the suite here. So it's this suite here from the holiday catalog. So the beautiful, beautiful suite. Very farmhousey, which is quite on trend. All right, so I'm going to flip the camera down and we're going to go ahead and get started. Okay, just bear with me for a minute. Things will probably get a little shaky. doing here can you guys see my screen is always a little bit delayed so it just takes a minute before I can see what you guys see <laughs> Mary Liz commented that of course you're using that suite she's probably getting a little tired of this I used it at stamp club this month I've used it at my blends class and I'm using it again today. We've got such a short window to use sweets or sets like this, so I gotta take advantage of it. I have, if you're here in Edmonton, we've got snow coming down today, which is not so fun. All right, so let's go ahead and, I don't know if that 
that's better. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Let me show you what we're gonna make today. We are gonna make these two cards here. And um, so we're gonna emboss with the tin tile embossing folder on this one here on use, using the new galvanized metallic paper, which is beautiful paper. Um, and then here, I'm gonna show you how you can add some color. It's kind of hard to tell. Hopefully you can see that, but hopefully when I do my demonstration, you'll be able to get a better idea on how that looks. I'm gonna do it a little bit darker than the sample. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. First of all, this sample was inspired by this project right here, this home decor project. And actually the people who are at this weekend's retreat, this is their make and take this weekend, is this cute little framed art. See you guys? <laughs> So um, they're gonna make this, and this is a version of this card. Um, I love this saying, simply thankful for all good things, but I thought that for a card, I probably wouldn't necessarily give too many cards that said that on the front. So I chose to switch out the main greeting and do celery instead. I've got some fall birthdays coming up, so this is gonna be perfect for it. All right. So, I've got my pieces here, and we are going to start with a piece of Whisper White cardstock that measures one and a half by four inches. And the stamp set that I got the Celebrate from is Calligraphy Essentials. I love this stamp set. Um, there is a card kit that goes with it um, that has some really cute cards in it. I just purchased the stamp set because I love the whole. Um, script lettering or brush lettering and it's really easy to get using this stamp set as a guide I'm not very good at it I try to practice but yeah it doesn't it never looks as nice as it could so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the celebrate and my blackberry bliss ink and stamp that on my whisper white cardstock and it's just gonna give me my outline image Okay, so I've got my outline image and then I'm going to take, oh Mary Liz says she's not tired of it at all, she's just very tempted. Well, I'm glad I'm doing my job Mary Liz. Tracy said the snow is a rude awakening, I agree. Okay, so now I've taken my, I'm going to take my Blackberry Bliss marker and um, our markers have two tips, there's a brush tip and a fine tip. So I'm going to use the brush tip. And basically what I'm gonna do is just carefully go in between here. So as I go down, I'm pushing a little harder to make it a little wider. And then as I go up, I have a lighter touch and it makes it a little thinner. I still find it quite hard to do the very thin parts, but what I will do is I'll just use the fine tip and go back over and color in those fine little pieces. And it works really well, and it looks like you've brush lettered this. It's kind of like a little cheater way to do it. Okay, so you get the idea. So I'll just keep doing that on all the wider parts, and then I flip it over and use the fine tip. Oh, Barb asked to see the stamp set again. So it's got celebrate, hello, smile, thank you in the brush lettering and then in this other font it's got I think you're great. Okay, so then on the fine tip I'm just going to just color in these fine little pieces that I couldn't get with my brush tip. With a lot of practice you could easily do this with the one tip. So I'm just coloring that in just like that so you get the idea um, and then what I'm gonna do is I need a piece of scrap paper and I'm going to take this image from the country home stamp set so this one here with the cotton in it and I'm going to use crushed curry ink and stamp it Right 
here just to add a little bit of that yellow, my little pop of yellow. And then I'm also going to stamp on the inside layer of my card. So I've got a piece of white that measures four by five and a quarter and my card is opening this way. So I'm going to stamp this one again and stamp it in the lower right corner. Okay, and that just dresses up the inside a little bit. All right, so then when you have your, everything is all colored in, this is what it's gonna look like. And then I've got some other pieces here. My card base is going to be Early Espresso and it measures five and a half by eight and a half and it's scored at four and a quarter. So it's just a standard size, standard size card. And I'm gonna put my inside piece on the inside of the card. And I've chosen not to do a greeting on the inside for this one. I, I will likely use it as a birthday card, but I will wait until I decide who it is that I'm going to give it to and then I can customize the greeting for the inside based on the receiver. Okay, and then I have a piece of the galvanized metallic paper. So this paper, um, it looks like sheets of metal and when you run it through with the tin tile embossing folder, it looks like those old tin tile ceilings that you have. So this piece measures three and a quarter by four and a half and I've already gone ahead and run it through the embossing folder. I'm going to add some adhesive to the back that into the center of my card front and then I'm going to take my espresso ink and a finger dauber and just add a little bit of texture to it and make it pop on the raised bit just by adding a little it just distresses it just a little bit adding a little bit of that brown ink to the raised portion Can you, see, can you guys see the difference where it's where it's been touched with the ink and not? It just really adds some dimension to it. Okay. Okay, so that's done. And then I've got a piece of the Country Lane DSP. So this pattern here, it's got the mint macaron background and the cotton on the front, and then it's got a beautiful tin tile kind of Blackberry Bliss pattern on the back. This piece measures two and three quarters by three and a half, and I'm going to add that into the center. Just like that. And then I've got a piece of crushed curry cardstock that measures one and seven eighths by two and three quarters. And this piece is going to go right behind my greeting. Add that on here, like that. And then I'm gonna grab some dimensionals. Go. Okay. I love it that I've decided to film here because everything's within its arm's reach. So if I've forgotten anything, I can just easily grab it. Whereas when I was doing it in the other room, it was just such a pain to have to run back and forth if I forgot something. Okay. All right, so this piece is gonna go right in the center here like that and then on this piece you can see that I've chosen to use some of the blackberry twine from the nature's twine pack and I kind of went back and forth but for this one I'm going to do it a little bit different I'm going to use still the blackberry bliss twine I'm going to cut about a six inch piece and then what I love to do with this twine is separate it. So it's quite a thick twine. 
but it easily pulls apart. So I'm gonna pull a couple strands apart. It just makes it a little bit thinner and reduces the bulk so you don't have to pay extra postage. I think I probably have three strands there. And I'll just tie a little bow with it. Make my ends a little bit more even. And then I'm gonna stick that guy right on there just like that. I'll just use a mini glue dot to do that. Just like that, trim the end so it's even on both sides. And there we go. We've got a cute little birthday card that's ready to go for somebody with a fall birthday. All right. So now for the next project, um, we are gonna use the tin tile embossing folder again. This time I'm actually gonna use it. I'm gonna show you guys it. And I need to grab my brayer. Okay, so this time I'm gonna use my sponge brayer and I'm gonna brayer right onto the embossing folder. So I'll grab my pieces. Okay, so my neutral this time is going to be vanilla. And I've got a piece of four and a quarter, or sorry, four by five and a quarter inch piece of vanilla cardstock. And this is gonna be my outer part, and you'll see why I've kept it larger, or cut it larger. Now, this is the tin tile embossing folder, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to brayer on the side without the Stampin' Up! logo, okay? And I'm gonna use Cajun Craze ink and my sponge brayer now a couple tips when you're using your sponge brayer don't just ink back and forth like this because then you're just inking just a portion of the wheel and not the entire wheel so make sure that you pick it up and that way you're inking the entire wheel and I'm going to just cover the entire surface and you can use as much or as little ink as you want. Obviously, the more ink you add, the darker it's gonna be. So I'm gonna add a little bit more than I did on my sample so that hopefully you guys can see it a little bit better. Okay, so if I stuck a little white piece behind here, can you guys see, gives you an idea of how dark it is. Add a little bit more. Okay, that should be good. Okay, so now I'm going to bring in my big shot. And because this is a, dy a dynamic impressions in folder, embossing folder, we actually only need one of our clear cutting blades and that goes on the top. So I've got my platform, my embossing platform. I'm going to put the uninked side down. I'm gonna stick this on top and then I'm gonna close it so the inked part is on the top. And the reason I did that is just so that the cardstock doesn't move. So you don't have to worry about that ink getting where it shouldn't be. Uh, Tammy says, you're making me want to craft instead of work. <laughs> this is a little bit more fun probably than what you're doing. Okay, so then you can see that where the color is, it's added um, color to where it's inset. So it just makes the pattern pop a lot more. So you can do that with any of our inks. You can even do it with Versamark and then use a, a you do heat embossing on it as well. Um, and then to clean this, this will clean off nicely. I'll just take it to the bathroom and run water and it will just wash away nicely. If you were to use Versamark, then you probably want to use soap and water and just make sure you get all of that stickiness off. So you can see how it's a little bit different because I added more ink to this one, so it's a little darker. Okay. All right, so now we need to trim this down. So I'm gonna pull in my paper cutter and we're trimming it down to three and three eighths. 
So three and three eighths. I'm gonna cut the long side first and you'll see why in a minute. I'm gonna save that. And then I'm gonna rotate this and cut it at four and five eighths. Okay. And then we're going to add that to a piece of early espresso cardstock that measures three and a half by four and three quarters. in the center. This will leave about a sixteenth of an inch of a border all the way around. And then I've got my card base which is Cajun Craze five and a half by eight and a half. And this is going to go on here but I'm going to do something else first. Now this piece of vanilla measures one and a quarter inches by three and a half inches and this is where I'm going to stamp my greeting. I'm going to stamp it in Cajun Craze. closer to the bottom. Okay, and then while I've got that ink out, I'm gonna take my inside piece, which measures four by five and a quarter, and I'm going to use the same image that I used in the last one with yellow, except I'm gonna use Cajun Craze and stamp on the inside. a simple way to dress up the inside of a card. Okay, and then I am going to use my punch board, envelope, my handy dandy envelope punch board that you guys know I love, and I'm going to use this back part just to round the corners. Okay, and then this piece goes on here, like that. You guys can see that I'm still using Fast Fuse. I was excited to see that it was on the clearance rack. I believe it's still available. For those of you who love Fast Fuse, it's a great time to stock up. There's a great deal on refills right now. Okay, and then add this to the center of my card front. Just like this. Are there just refills left, Barb, or are the dispensers still available? There were dispensers. I'm not sure if there's any left, though. Okay, and then what I did was I've gone ahead and stamped this guy this little jug in early espresso and cut it out. I didn't bother cutting the inside of that piece out because it's going to go right on top of here with dimensionals. And you're not gonna notice it so much anyways. Oh, the dispensers were gone after the first day, but there's still lots, there's still refills though. Okay, that's good to know. I'm going to tuck that right there and then I've got a little bow tied with our new braided trim from that same suite. So I've gone ahead and tied a bow. It looks like linen thread. It looks like braided linen thread is what it looks like. I'm going to use a mini glue dot to stick this on here. Just like that. And then my inside piece, this piece that I've gone ahead and stamped, this longer strip, I'm gonna attach that down the side. So that brings in that beautiful look from the outside of the card into the inside of the card. And then it also allows you to use up some of those scrap pieces that you've got as well. So then this will get attached to the inside and then we are done. So I love this little adding the color to the embossing folder and then brayering or and then running it through. 
It just adds so much and gives you a completely different look. So there we go. We're all done. So remember, if you want the opportunity to win these two cards that I made today, be sure to comment. I can't find the other card. It's around somewhere. Um, be sure to comment or share this post. And um, my gift for $50 purchase this month, if you use this hostess code, um, it was supposed to be chicken wire, but we've run out of chicken wire. It ran out of chicken wire. It's on back order now and not orderable. So um, I think I've got everybody who's already placed an order this month. I've got enough for them. Um, but for the rest of the month, what I am offering is a package of the there's the farmhouse suite the festive farmhouse elements um, free with a $50 online purchase all right so thanks so much for watching I hope you guys have a great weekend stay warm and I will see you next week take care Why can't I see the finish button? Was it broadcast the entire time? Yeah. <laughs>